Dennis, it's been a minute. Good to see you again, my friend, even remotely. Uh, why this deal? Why now? Thank you, Brian. Um, look, we've had a number of unsolicited offers for the business over the last year or so, and we decided it was a good time to sell. We've been there for 16 years. We democratized mobile communications in all the markets. There's a lot of growth left in the business, and that made it very attractive. And it generates about $235 million of EBITDA and a lot of very good cash flow. So, uh, you know, it was just the timing was right for everybody. Yeah, and this is interesting. And I don't want you to speak for Telstra, although it is going to be a new company. We'll list on the Australian Stock Exchange. And you, I believe, Dennis, will be on the board. So maybe you can speak for him. Uh, this is the first time they've done a mobile phone business outside of Australia. They've got some undersea operations, things like that. But on the consumer end, they're pushing out. Why do you think that is? Why is the timing right? Well, I, I think, you know, these countries, the Pacific Islands are very close to Australia. There's a lot of very strong connections economically and tourism and everything else with these islands. And, you know, the relationship with Papua New Guinea is particularly strategic because of the mining industry there. So I, I think, you know, it was a meeting of minds between the government of Australia, Telstra, and ourselves as a seller of the assets. And what's more interesting about the deal, too, is that the Australian government is kicking in not all of it, uh, but close to all of it. You've been doing this a long time, Dennis. Have you ever seen a government kick in, uh, you know, what, 75 or whatever percent of a purchase price? Why do you think the Australian government is interested in your assets? Well, I think, it were, you know, the world is changing, Brian. And, you know, some assets are becoming more strategic than others. Um, we saw at the G7 meeting in Cornwall, President Biden and Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister of Australia, talk about the B3W initiative. And I suppose it's a counter to the China's Belt and Road initiative, which has been running for many years. So, you know, there's a number of different factors here. But, you know, I, the, well, the main thing here is that Telstra are getting a cracking business. And uh, the Australian, Australian government, you know, also are involved. And, you know, there's a lot of growth left. About two and a half million people out of seven million people in Papua New Guinea have a mobile phone. So that should be 70, 80 percent pretty quickly. So this business will continue to grow and throw for a lot of cash flow for our new owners, Telstra. Yeah, the, the Daily Mail reports uh, their, their headline is is basically Telstra or Australia's big move against China. That's actually their headline on your deal. Is this kind of to blunt China's growing sort of telecom infrastructure impact in the region? Well, I, I think, you know, when, when you have security agencies advising governments, well, then obviously we're into new territory here. Uh, and, you know, I, I, you know, it's long recognized that China has upped their influence in the Pacific region. And, you know, Australia obviously has a great relationship with all the countries going back many, many years and have supported uh, a lot of these countries to AusAid and other organizations. So, look, this is just an extension of Australia's role and friendship to the countries in the Pacific region.